What's cracking everybody? It's the People's Champ right now. Driving, heading to the gym. Gotta go get it cracking. So look, while I'm driving, I'm listening to Cali Muscle latest video of um, him admitting to the amounts of steroids that he's taking, well, was taking and was using and everything, right? And then I'm also listening to him saying, you know, steroids is bad, they're trash, it's not needed. Then he started crushing them with the hammer. I was concerned that why he doing that, he should, he should have had some goggles on because that could have been a, a a fluke accident that could have put his fucking eyes out. You know, he um, I know he gonna do better next time if he do some shit like that. Um, he got to be a little more wiser when it comes to that because then he'd be making videos saying hammers are bad, but it's about how far you push it now. I know I bust Cali balls from time to time, call him out on a lot of shit. However, I have no hatred towards Cali Muscle. You know what I'm saying? He's a part of the brotherhood. It is what it is. Now, this is the thing. Cali, um, I agree with him. Steroids is not needed. I also agree with him when he say you should start looking into it once you mid-30s. 35 or if your test levels are low, you know you go see a doctor. I agree with that. Absolutely. Now, um, this is the thing. Cali said he was taking a thousand milligrams of testosterone a week, eight hundred milligrams of trembolone a week. The steroids did not do that to Cali muscle health. I know y'all like Mac, what do you mean? With the numbers that high, it did do it to him. The steroids did do it to him. Understand this. There's no steroid that just jump out of a bottle at large amount of numbers and just jump into your bloodstream. Cali Muscle did that to himself. Cali Muscle was taking 1,000 milligrams of testosterone. He was taking 800 milligrams of trenbolone. That is a lot I don't think I ever got nowhere near close to those numbers, you know, and my trend ain't ever went past, I think at my highest, at my very highest had to be like maybe two, um, not two, 450 on the Trembolone. And then my test, when it's prep time and you get six weeks out from show, my test jumps up to 750, you see? But that's the thing. The reason why Cali has such a bad experience with these steroids is because he had no governator on his shit. He took the governator off, meaning he was doing the high amount of numbers that, hell, the old school pros used to do. Because now in today's time, there's no body great like that doing this because every time I listen to him I always think like well Dexter and a few other guys compete in their 50s running his gear no health issues no health scares other than the obsessive eating to where it like messes with their stomach at times now I'm glad that Cali realized that by him taking all of that shit that it wasn't worth it because his numbers was too high eventually it could have been a fatality cali muscle could have potentially uh ended his life off of the trend alone alone off a of trend alone that could have ended his life i know he had to be the most irritable person there was and he had spoke on Halo and all up just a plethora of enhancements. The majority of the enhancements that he was just taking and be taking is when you were weeks out from competition. You don't take that type of stuff just to be looking jacked on a video because it comes with a cost and it comes with a price. Now, He's thinking 100% wiser. Now, I can remember when Cali 
got off a of gear completely. He wasn't taking anything. He may, maybe did one cc of testosterone a month after he invested because Cali spent about twenty thousand dollars to um with the fertility with his kids, you know. So we know off top the man he he loved his family, and now he's moving like he loved his family. He's moving a whole lot smarter, you know. Cali had got extremely small for two years. That right there was the complete honest truth that he was speaking on, and he did it because he wanted a family. But now with Cali being as small as he is, Cali doing it because he want his life. He, he want to be as healthy as he possibly can be. I tip my hat off to that, to that dude for that because that's what it's all about, you know, because, you know, people tell you to take so much and tell you to do this and that because some people really don't mean well by you. They want to see you blow your shit apart because when you have raw talent, some of those know that you could become a threat and they want to end your career. Now, what I do wish, I wish Cali would have had the opportunity to turn pro. And the reason why I say that is because he had all the potentials in the world to be a pro bodybuilder. I'm not saying he'd have been the best professional bodybuilder, but he had all the tools to be a pro bodybuilder. He had the heart, he had the drive, he had all the tools to pull it off. Unfortunately, after the 2015-16 competition, um, something clicked to where that he lost the passion for it, and it was a gift and a curse because if he would have pushed his body further again, he probably would have potentially messed his health up. Um, completely or could have killed himself and that was around the time when he was ready for a family so those of you that have not seen Cali video go check it out go check it out he been as honest as possible in that video the stuff that he's saying is outrageous I know a lot of you guys think every bodybuilder or everybody that competed used those large amount of testosterone and trembolone and primo and master like in halo like not every bodybuilder do that some of the best great bodybuilders right now in today's time take nowhere near that amount because we know now with the science it's not about nothing but the quality of the enhancement and the amount of food and now everyone, not even on this whole force feeding thing, you get the um, calories in that you need, you get the macros in that you need, and you stay there with it. It's not so much about force feeding anymore because that's where all the extended guts came from, the wide waist lines came from and everything. So I don't know, I'm about to get ready to go inside this gym. I just pulled up to Urban Iron in Fontana, California, where I'll be piping. Um, if any of you out here in this IE area, I got some, I got a uh, complimentary guest pass. Y'all can come work out with Mac truck. I only got seven of them. I'll be willing to let y'all jump in my routine with me. Put your body through uh, intense training, not to kill you, but to let you know how us pros go at it. So anywho. It's the people's champ giving it to you, gun barrel straight, raw and uncut, no filter. I'll holler at y'all later. Kick, kick, kick.